Well, here we go again, day three. What's up and good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. <sighs> we need a little extra motivation this morning. The boys are back here uh, already chugging away. So right now the boys are going around doing some uh, handwork because really you're only as good as the guys uh, on the shovel when it comes to footings in really shitty situations. Like this corner over here, which if you guys remember when we were digging out, there's just so much concrete and uh, just piece, I mean, you can see the whole layer right there. All right, Mesquite, I gotta get the excavator over here. Can you move the bobcat? Yeah, you got it. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, this makes me nervous, Mesquite. Don't worry. Tu sabes? Si. Okay. Don't hit anything. No. Woo! All right, let's see if Mesquite got it. Why oh, you look so nervous? Why? You're not nervous? Why? Just go backwards. Don't turn right here, you're gonna mess up the marks. Okay, or keep turning right here. That works too. So Abel's really the only one that's like taking the initiative to wanna learn to run equipment. And uh, trust me, if any of you guys are out there and you have the opportunity to learn to run equipment, learn to run equipment. Because depending on what the job is, you've either, uh, you're either the shovel guy or you're the guy on the equipment. And there's days where it's better to be the shovel guy, there's days where it's better to be the guy on the equipment. I prefer to always be the guy on the equipment. But honestly, the only way to learn is really to jump on it, take it slow, do little tasks like this. Or at the end of the day on a job site, um, see if somebody will let you jump on and kind of just play around a little bit. But trust me, the more people on a job site that know how to run equipment, the better. Uh-oh, this keeps already getting fired. I told you backwards, Abel fired you, bro. You're out of here. That didn't last long, Mesquite. Hey, it was a good try. You did better than I thought. I know. And I don't think it's uh, any surprise to anybody that I've been operating uh, this excavator. We'll see all the water bottles back there. So I haven't done a whole lot of uh, filming today because it's just been like straight buckling down. We're trying to get these footings dug. We're just finding so much old concrete trash. It's just layer after layer after layer. It's taking us a long distance down to get to native. So. Uh, it's been a it's been a fun one today. At least we got some decent footings up here that are in actual native without a bunch of concrete in the way that is causing them to just blow wide open. So we are wrapped up here for the day, but that doesn't mean we are done for the day. I'm gonna try and go get a gym session in real quick. Grab some dinner real quick. Then we're headed back over to the warehouse because as you know, we've been working on uh, Martin's F-250 in there. Well, the other parts have shown up for that thing today. So we're gonna go get those installed as well. Mesquite, you ready for more work? Yeah. All right, let's go. Are you a mechanic? You can try? Yeah. All right, if you can try, let's go. And well, through the power of the internet, it is uh, nighttime. We're back at the warehouse. Martin's supposedly already here. I don't think he knows that we have a front door to the warehouse. He always pulls around back. And we've got Gunner here. Gunner, say hi to the channel, man. Everybody misses you. No, you just really want to go inside here. All right, uh, excuse me, sir. Lead the way there. It's a little dark in there. Hope you don't mind. Now, Gunner, I don't know how to break it to you, but there, there is a Ford in the warehouse, so. Don't tell Martin, but if you gotta relieve yourself, pick a tire. I'd, I'd pick that back one, that fuel wheel's already fading. Let's go see if we can find Martin. Gunner's running, Gunner's excited. Oh my goodness gracious. So, again, if anybody's wondering, it's oil money, right? Uh, oil. oil money. I mean, that's why Martin owns two F-250 Platinums. The one has a check engine light. Oh, this one has a check engine light, so you had to buy another one. Well, after I put the stock exhaust back on, everything just started messing up. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Don't ever yeah. do that. Once they <laughs> fall off in Mexico, you just leave them off. That sounds serious. Yeah. Well, this one, uh, once we get the check engine light fixed, is uh, for sale, right? Oh! Oh, is that what I get? I get a half drink bottle of alkaline water? <laughs> I mean, I'm still waiting on my cases. That's gonna come when the are is are they are they in there? Cause uh, I know you worked there today. <laughs> your your warehouse is down the street, and I still don't get any cases of alkylate water. Put it on the table of 400 extra parts here. Well, extra you know parts. we did. A, you know we did a good job if there's all these extra parts, right? <laughs> extra parts, huh? Yeah, you're supposed to have extra parts. I thought there was something wrong with me. No, 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 that's normal. Yeah, get up under there. So we did, you know, make some alterations to the original plan because the horn blasters kit, not the greatest uh, design there, but. I think it turned out better. I like DMX design. Right. You like DMX design? Yeah. It was, it was half me, half Zach. That's what we should do. We'll just call it DMX design. All right, I'm in. I'm in. You, you like your air truck? I mean, this is really honestly like all yeah, I Yeah, that's so that's, cool. that's really all I did right there. <laughs> I'll give Zach credit for everything <laughs> that's else. That's the best part. Oh, thanks, dude. It's not even hooked up yet, but thanks. <laughs> Apparently, we need one more T fitting that Zach didn't have, so. Oh, yeah, so this is what we're doing today. Is this the exact same setup Eddie has? Or had on his uh, GMC? I believe, I believe so. No, he got it on the Dodge right now. No, oh, he's already put this on yeah, there? Oh. I already got that. Mm -hmm. so. Maybe I should watch Eddie's videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, do you watch Eddie's videos? 
Honestly, no. I'm not even subscribed to Eddie. Damn! <laughs> oh, are you subscribed to me? Yeah, I'm subscribed. Oh man. Oh man. That's, that's why you're here. No, this is the one that's supposed supposedly I'm gonna be able to do on the phone. You know, I'm gonna be able to lift the bags from the phone and stuff too. Right? I sure hope so. Oh yep, I see it right there. I see a telephone. So these are the tow bags. So as you guys know, um, you know, factory trucks. <laughs> especially when you put a lift kit on them, depending on if you use springs or blocks or whatever. Um, trucks sag a lot when you put a lot of weight on them. So one of the best remedies for that is to put airbags on. That way you can adjust the suspension for the weight of the trailer. And this setup I really like because of number one, you get like your little wireless remote. Um, now you can do it off your phone supposedly. We'll see if that works out. But it's just a real clean, simple setup. There's not a whole lot that goes into these. Are we gonna do a tow test on the big ding ding? No. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I did a tow test on the ding ding, I was looking cool and everywhere. Oh, <laughs> not <geez>. on this <laughs> one. <laughs> Fords, dude, I don't, Fords. I don't like that, Let me lock Gunner up over here so we don't hurt his ears, but. I think you're gonna want to play with your toy, aren't you? Wait, the horn works? Yeah, the, what do you mean, wait, the horn works? Bro, everything's hooked up. I haven't had a horn for a solid year. What do you mean? Have you heard my stock horn? Yeah. It sounds like a Jeep horn. So, I don't know what switch is what, but let's try. No, 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 it might already be on. Well, so let's say we got normal horn. And then one of these switches you over. No. <laughs> God, this is a horrible game of Russian roulette right now. <laughs> number two. Yo, number two. All right. <laughs> you, you gotta have a truck on, though. Oh, oh, I'm the dumb dumb. Hey, Zach, good to see you, buddy. Perfect timing, though. <laughs> oh, we need air. <laughs> Which one's air? One. Number one is air. All right, it's the most anticlimactic. Oh, we need washer fluid as well. Ford tells you vehicle is on. We, we need that. Hey, it tells you the door's open too. Well, that I understand, but do we really need the the Ford open, to tell me the vehicle is ball. on? <laughs> oh my God. Is that loud enough for you? Dude, like... <laughs> is that what you wanted? Is that... A little better for you now? Like <laughs> is that what a horn's supposed to sound like? Yeah. I got my heartbeat. <laughs> Why are you out of breath, dude? Yeah, I don't know. I'm scared. Do have a panic attack or what? Yeah, try being under there when it happens. Red right, Zach? It was at 40 pounds. That was enough pounds. Let's see what we got in box number one. <laughs> I remind myself every morning. Thanks, though. All right. Ooh. I got the big ones. The big ones? All right. Well, we got all kinds of sweet components here. We got some spacers. We got some of... Um, these, a couple of those. Zach, you're on the box, buddy. That's what it looks just like. <laughs> right? Dang, Zach. You got a helmet we can put on? Oh, we got an issue already? Well, this this is what, so they gave him little spacers, but that's not gonna be enough to to space the bag. Uh -oh. it, 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 it never usually works. Problem is, is with these blocks, with the lift blocks, they raise this bump pad up to compensate for the lifted block. Because most of the weight, even on the stock ones, they ride. That's why they give you this, this bracket index on to that, and that's what keeps that flat, and these hold it. So you're saying instead of it riding on the axle, it rides on here? Precisely. He's like, make it how, to the how, oh, you'll, make, you'll make it. Well, turn your radio on in case you got no, a radio. But sometimes, radio. okay, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I gotta do a full send, you know, on the freeway. And you're I'm not gonna, gonna lie, I've heard your stories about your driving, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How you have a license? I just want to make sure I'm driving something solid. Well, this one dies just buy another, another one. Then you have three platinums. No, no, no. no. What? No, I told myself this is my last uh, Ford that I'm gonna buy. Honestly, I don't like. Oh, that. geez, you gotta be like Eddie and Big Lou. You no, gonna no, join no. the Ram crew? I don't know. I, I'm mean, honestly. Do you blame me? I, I, would you buy a new Chevy, a brand new one? No, the interior I sucks. Interior and exterior. I feel like yeah. they're trying to make it look like a like a Toyota Tundra. They don't know what they were doing. Oh, dude, look at all this extra stuff extra that we're gonna have stuff. when we're done. Oh, looks like we got our, our first bag here pretty mocked up. God, there's just so many little pieces to these things, huh? It's an erector set. It is an erector set. It's fun. Zach's already prepped this side. He's removed the bump stop up there, and that's where this new plate goes in. 
Oh, 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 oh,
Wes isn't here, dude. I gotta like, I gotta Damn sub me. in for Wes. And well, pretty much the last step here. Uh, well, uh, first, first we undo, then we redo. A little bit of wiring here because we can't feed it that way. We don't feed it up. So while Zach is finishing up the wiring, one of the ideas we are toying around with, I've got a little one raw here to show you guys, is putting our snapback skull logo on some sweatshirts. If you guys would be interested, let me know down in the comments, but I think they look rad as sweatshirts. They do look sick as shirts as well. This right here is how you know somebody is serious about some wiring. Damn, buddy. That's a nice little collection you got going on there. So, the uh, final connections have been made over here. I've downloaded the app, because you can do this off the app, as well as the uh, included wireless controller. Let's see if this is as easy to set up as it might be. I did, also didn't read any of the instructions, so this could be bad. All right, Zach, you ready to try this? Go for it. Let's see. Air up. We want to be 10 PSI. Current pressure is zero. Oh, I didn't the pressure up. <laughs> you say you didn't have the compressor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should probably hook the compressor up. That's, uh, this is why we test things. Well, the good news is the app's paired when you're ready. I'll, I'm ready when you are. You know, everybody thinks Zach's got the most important job around here, but honestly, it's me. I handle the cleanup. So, I got you, buddy. I'm just keep making my pile over here while you hook up the compressors. Oh yeah, this is gonna go much better now. Oh, jeez. We've also got the regular switch that it comes with, a remote, I should say, that it comes with. If I can get it out of the little booger there. Hey, this is really handy to have. I don't like things that are paired to phones. Just because, as you guys all know, like it's not instant when you pull your phone out. This thing's probably paired to it full time. Whereas your phone, you gotta connect to the Bluetooth if it's already connected to like your truck and your watch. Now you gotta like disconnect, depending on how many Bluetooth connections you can have. That's why I don't run like the Easy Link and all that stuff it's hooked up to a phone. We have power noise. Oh yeah. And these compressors are also very loud. Oh. Here we go, we're adjusting our pressure. Oh, we're already at seven PSI, let's lower it. Let's see what happens. Oh, and we lower. All right, let's try 25. I think Zach's trying to kill us with some uh, carbon monoxide poisoning in here. Which probably, uh, I mean, we could shut it off. It's been running for a minute. I think we've got enough air. Man, that's, that thing's dirty for some reason. He doesn't wash his exhaust out or yeah, something. Uh -huh. But uh, truck's all done. I think Martin's going to be happy when he comes to pick it up tomorrow. So with that, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you're not missing out on any future content. I don't trust Zach going over there near the horn button. Don't forget to give this video a like, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you guys are the best. I'm out. Compressors. Roll the compressors? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.